Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we're going to talk about Arduino clothes and counterfeits. Unbox a legitimate Arduino Uno board and see what's included inside it and do some comparisons between the original and the counterfeit one. So, I have finally decided to buy a legitimate Arduino Uno board. It's not really necessary, especially if your budget does not allow you to, but I bought it to support the OGs who have decided to make their softwares, boards, and schematics open source. You can even build your own Arduino if you wanted to. The hardware design files are all free for download, link in the description. You see, the only way they make profit from their work is when people buy their merch, legitimate boards, kits, and form small royalty fees every time people buy from authorized manufacturers. And those payments help to pay for the servers, software and hardware developers, and support personnel which in turn allows them to continue innovating their products. Now, let's talk about clones. Clones are products released according to trademark laws, meaning they are not illegal, unless the manufacturer used the Arduino logo on their boards without permission, because the Arduino logo is copyrighted, which I honestly did not know before. The link for the Arduino community logo will also be in the description by the way. Customers who want to support the Arduino project should be aware that these products do not give back anything financially and very rarely in terms of help on software or documentation. The link to the full article by one of the Arduino OGs, Massimo Banzi, will also be in the description down below. I highly suggest that you read it. It's really informative. Okay, well, this intro has gone long enough. Sorry for that. Time for some unboxing. Let's go! Here it is. The USB cable is not included in the package I think, it's just that most distributors here in the Philippines includes one on every purchase. So here is the back of the box, the front, and the sides. Oh right, here you can see some trademark stuff. Okay let's open it up. Slowly. Here's the Arduino board with the included acrylic base or platform. As you can see, there are pin labels on the sides as well as on the top part of the board, we'll talk about those later. Meanwhile, let's compare this board to the images that are available on the Arduino store. Okay, it looks like there's a slight smudge or leftover solder flux on the upper right part of the board. Nothing to be worried about, all Arduino products have warranties after all. Here's some thank you note and documentation. And yay! Free stickers! Alright, now for some comparisons. This blue one is a counterfeit which I have been using for about 9 months now. Their components and layout are basically just the same, but it's called a counterfeit and not a clone because they use the Arduino logo on the board which as I have said before is copyrighted. So besides the obvious color difference, as you can see, the legitimate one has labels for the pins on both sides and at the top part of the board for users to be able to identify or locate the correct pins easily. I mean come on, this counterfeit one has copied everything from the Arduino branding to the layout of the board. The logo on this one is a bit different though. This one has a dotted line around the Uno and this one is a rectangle. And the Arduino logo on this one is thick, 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 thicker than the counterfeit one. Let's take a closer look at the boards, shall we? See this resistor or capacitor right here does not exist on the counterfeit board. And this IC right here does not exist on the counterfeit board either. So basically, if they did not blatantly use the Arduino branding and just call their board some other name like Ardu something or something Duino, this board would pass as a clone and not a counterfeit. Now let's take a look at the backside of the counterfeit. Again with the logo, where it supposedly have been made, and the Arduino website itself. It also has the map of Italy, some compliance and certification labels, and the soldering job looks like it has been done by a machine, it's pretty good to be honest. Take that opinion with a grain of salt though, that's coming from someone who is not good at soldering. And here is the backside of the OG one. The problem with these boards according to the article is that they do not only trick people into thinking that they are buying an official Arduino product but they also do not provide support or warranty. 
I mean, sure, if you do not have the budget, then by all means, go for the cheaper one. To be honest, I bought a legit version not only to support the OGs, but also because I felt ashamed and a little bit hypocritical <laughs> by trying to promote the Arduino community while using a counterfeit product. And also, now I have some sort of sacrificial board for some of my untested projects, so that, even if it released that magical puff of smoke, I could just replace it with another one easily. Now, this is a closer look at the acrylic base, which is... By the way... And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Maybe.